guys, it's Carolyn with Crafting with Wine, and I am doing an odd project, and I'm going to do a process with it. And the reason I decided to come on and film it is because I had an oops with what I was trying to do. I had, I had um, like an office envelope that I made, and then just a regular like um, a little bit larger than a gift card envelope and then I had made a box base <laughs> and I hadn't made all of these at the same time for the same project or anything but I decided to put them all together so this is like uh, a loaded envelope box so to speak so here's Here's the base of it. This is what I've put together. This is the envelope, uh, business envelope base here, the envelope itself. And this is the box that I made. And my measurements were so wrong and I didn't want to waste my beautiful paper. I just went ahead with it. And my math did not work with what I was trying to do. So I'm going to have to try I'm going to have to try again <laughs> at another point. And then just my normal little envelope that I've made. And I've got it all attached together here. And I'm going to put some sweet treats down in the bottom of, of the box here. But I didn't want to waste these beautiful papers. So <laughs> I thought, why not to, um, come on and film my mistake and see if, I can make something pretty out of it. So let me set this to the side and I'm going to show you all the things here that I've pulled out that I may use. May use it all. May use parts of it. May not use much of any of it. But we'll do it together and see what happens. I've got a, a package of parts partially used fancy pants uh, button mix here that I had picked up at Tuesday mornings a long time ago. So I'm everything I'm using pretty much has, has come from my stash with the exception of a couple of things and the paper being one of them. It's what I picked up yesterday. Then I have these rhinestone bow embellishments. Um, these are probably I don't know, seven or eight years old. <laughs> so <laughs> I've got these and I only used one ever out of the package. Then I got bow paper clips, heart paper clips, dog and cat paper clips. I got a package of paper flowers. I know I bought these, I think, from the Michael's Dollar Spot, I believe. Um, Oh, back last spring, I'm pretty certain. So I have those. I have this Hello Kitty die cut that I made and put together um, some time ago. And I ripped the back of it because something got taped to it that I didn't want there. So I tore it off. Then I have a bag of mixed wood buttons with lots of different designs and things on them. So I got that. I got a little cute, um, oh, shoot, tool drawstring bag with a yellow ribbon. So hopefully I'll do something with this. Then I got some pink wired ribbon that's see through and pretty. So we'll see what I can do there. Then I got some pom-pom trim. It's pink as well. Then I got some real thin yellow ribbon here. I got some paper straws that are really pretty colors. Then I have three rolls of washi tape here that I pulled out on my stash because they match the colors, or at least I think they do. These pretty aquas and golds and pinks, and then pink with hearts, and then just a gold arrow. 
then I have these glitter shaker embellishments. They're from Die Cuts with a View. Um, there's four pieces in here, and I may open this up and use one or two of them. Um, I think I got these at Target um, three or four months ago. And then I have a very well used and loved Martha Stewart border punch. And then I have a one and three quarters of an inch scalloped punch from Stampin' Up. I get Stampin' Up and EK Excesses pump, uh, punches mixed up all the time. Here are some um, pieces of scrap paper that I have. And the yellow comes from the envelope of this. And this comes from this backyard table um, recollections paper pad that I got yesterday in my haul. The ones that are double sided. So I'm happy <laughs> to have that and I'm using it. So then I have my very well loved and used Martha Stewart scoring board here. And what I'm going to do is... I'm going to work on, to start with, is I'm going to flip it to this side. And this is a 6 by 6 inch piece of paper. There are cardstock here. And I'm going to make a wand. So that's what the straws are for. And I think those two colors match real well as well. So it's 6 by 6. And what I'm going to do is cut it in half at 3 inches down the center of it long way sorry about that guys you put your score lines in on the 12 inch side not the 6 inch side like I did <laughs> so we're just going to do an, we do an accordion style fold you guys all know how to do this and just do it until you get it folded This paper is so heavyweight, it's trying to crack a little bit. But it's a wand, it'll still look pretty, and I think it'll be okay. So let me take my bone folder and just burnish it down real good. So there's that one, and there's that one. Now, <clears throat> The next thing I'm going to do is use my one and three quarters inch Stampin' Up scallop punch. And that's what the, I have this yellow paper out for. And I'm just going to punch a couple of those. And there we are with that. Put those out of the way. There. I'm going to open up my straws. And pull one of those out. Now, my hot glue gun is a hot mess. Let me pull it in. Let me find a piece of scratch paper, scrap paper here that I can try to work on if I can get all the hot glue gun spider webs off of me. Oh, I hate those things. Let's see. I'm, I'm, I haven't even oh, started it yet and it's already driving me crazy. <laughs> okay, let me pull this off of here. I'm going to run a bead of glue down that piece there. And get my stuff out of the way. And then I'm going to line these up. 
and hold them until they glue in place. Now, I like doing this to see how I want to put these ends together. And they'll go together just fine like I had planned on doing. So I'm going to put another bead of glue down this strip. Okay, we're trying to, it's trying to get away from me. This is hard to do when you can't put your fingers in it because it's hot. Okay. Got it. <laughs> So we got this side, which is very pretty, and we have this side, which is very pretty. Uh oh, my glue didn't stick. I'm gonna, let me redo that. I'm going to try to do this while holding it, too. I didn't get enough glue on it. should have enough on it now by George. Yeah. Definitely do now. I feel it. <laughs> so I know I've got enough on it now. Let's hold it there for a minute longer than normal. So it doesn't pop loose again. Now, what I'm going to do with my little scallop circles here that I made, or punched, because this is the solid on this side, I'm going to put the pattern scallop on this side. Probably won't see it after it's all said and done, but at least I know it was done this way. And then on the other side, I'm going to put the solid color on the, on the pattern side. work on getting my fingers out of the way while I've got this held fairly tight. Okay. Glue gun malfunction. Okay. Got it now. Then I'm going to put my scallop in the center and hold it there for a second. Hold it all together. Ooh, that's hot. Now with this scallop, I'm going to use the solid color for the other side. Glue's coming through. Of course it is. That's okay. It's still, it's still wet. That's alright because I want to put this one on. This way I don't have as much dry time. Or hold time is what I'm trying to say. I'm going to put a good dollop on there that time. I hope I'm on camera. I can't, I can't see my little screen very well.
See, I'm very challenged when it comes to hot glue guns. Very challenged. Probably, I'm sure I am in a, many other areas too. It's just that glue guns, I know that I am. So, let's hope that all of these mistakes turn into something pretty. <laughs> Okay, so it's glued together. And I'm going to make this side my front side because you because I can't see the seams as well and it looks prettier because of that. Cuz back here you can see the seams too bad. They don't they don't look good. All of those seams don't look good. Okay, now I'm going to decide where I want to put my straw. And I think I'm going to put it right there. That is where I'm going to put it. So I'm going to get my glue gun back out and I'm just going to run it. Uh, a huge big bead of glue down down there in between those pleats and hold it in place for a minute so it gets adhered adhered very well Give it another little hold and squeeze. I don't know what I did with my... Oh, I see my craft mat now. Way over there. Piled under a bunch of other stuff. Because I usually use it when I'm using my hot glue gun. That way it doesn't matter if I get glue all over it. Because it comes right off. Okay, and there we go. So I've got that put together at this point, and I'm going to leave this at the, like this for a few moments because I'm not 100% sure what else I'm going to do with this. I think I'm going to go cut out another Hello Kitty and put on here. Something Hello Kitty, I'm sure I will. Well, I know I'm going to. And I think I may use some of these cute little pink flowers on there, too. So let's see here. Let me put that over here out of the way to dry a little bit. I'm going to bring <laughs> this hot mess in. And let me look at these ribbons here. There's my pom-pom ribbon. Trying to find, decide where I want to put it. Don't want to put it up there because it doesn't look right. Actually, I think I will put a piece right there. So that's right there is where I want to cut it. Put it around here so we both can see it. Yeah. Okay. Come on, glue. Be nice. Now what that gives a little definition to the opening, I think, of this envelope. I'm 
that it does. Let me get the glue webs off of me. Now let me see what I can do on this side. Sticking to my fingernails. Let's see. No, that looks silly. And I already know I don't like it up here. Oh, that look okay, I like that. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Put it around the lip of the box. Let's see. And cut it right there. Gotta do the cutting that way since Math and I didn't get along earlier on this box that I was trying to make. And I'm typically not that bad with math. I typically do pretty good with math. But I just wasn't doing it today. <laughs> that looks cute, I think, don't you? A little there we go. Yes, I'm liking that. And I love this paper. Now I'm mad that I didn't buy two packs of it. One to use and one to hoard. Well, one to save for an emergency, not hoard. Right? Never know what kind of emergency you might need paper for. <laughs> there we go. Oh yes, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a great deal. Yes. Yes, I'm going to do that. Right like so. Okay. I'm going to get this glue gun out of my way for a few minutes. <laughs> I'm done with that. You know what? I'm going to look for a magnet to close that envelope with. Okay. Now, if I can get my box open. <laughs> oh, come on. There they are. are these little neo neo I don't know how to say I'm not even going to try to they're very very strong and these are very 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 tiny so oh if I can pull them apart put those heck in there and I'm going to pull off two of them See how strong they are? It went straight, it knocked the thing over. It was so strong. Let me find my glue dots here. Let me get my paper piercer. I'm just I took a glue dot there 
and I folded it in half. Now I'm going to pull these little magnets, these two little magnets apart if I can. And that's a big if. My fingers are too, my fingernails are too long. It'll happen eventually. Got it. I'll put that right on there. Like so. And you know what? I have these little hearts, <laughs> stars punched out here on my desk. Even though it's not the same color, they do kind of match. But they're too big. Way too big. Okay, let me get my paper punch. There it is. I'm gonna like I said, I have lots of these little stars on my desk. I told you I did. I think these were left over from one of my scrapbooking projects I did. Scrapbooking layouts I did for Christmas. And it has it. My This is the old school paper punch. I'm going to have to do another one. To get what I wanted. There we go. Well, that's not it. That's a different color. <laughs> Okay. Oh, how many issues can you have on one project? I'm wondering if that's it. No, it's not. And I don't know where it went. We'll come back to that. <laughs> it's, all, it's all I can do. It's just come back to it. So I'm going to roll this little mini glue dot in half, both directions, and it becomes a little ball. Can you see that? Now I'm going to take this little magnet here and just put it on there so I know that the negative and positives are together. I'm going to take that glue dot and place on there, if I can get unstuck from it, okay. and then just fold it down, give it a good press, and then open it up. So there's that magnet and this magnet, and I'm going to come back and hide those with little uh, pieces of paper so you can't see them. So now it closes shut very well. So that's that. Now what I'm thinking of doing, I know she's too big for this, but that's okay because it stands up and it'll work out just fine. I'm gonna put my Hello Kitty on here. So it's gonna be a Hello Kitty. <laughs> so let me get my ATG gun out and lay down some some tape. There it 
there and I'm going to place it on here. There we go. I like that. That looks very nice. I'm going to have to use my razor. Eraser, I got something yucky on her nose there. So I'll have to get that fixed up. And I'm probably going to come back. Well, there's no probably about it. But I'm going to come back and put some uh, Wink Costella on her bow. And make it pop. And make it pretty and shiny. So we got that. I got the envelope here to stuff a bunch of goodies and stuff in. I've got this slot here that will hold things too. I got my envelope that holds a lot of things. And then I got the little basket part that will hold some things as well. And I love the pom-pom trim around there. I think that's really cute and up here too. Now I'm going to lay this I'm going to lay this down for a second because here's what I'm thinking with one of these embellishments here because they have ribbon holes in them. Let's see what else in. Okay, there's a shaker, pineapple, very cute, very glittery. Oh, an ice cream cone with little seed beads in it. And a heart that says love. It's little seed beads too. This one's glitter in here in the pineapple. And then a cactus with little seed beads. So that's very cute. Now I'm thinking of tying one from up here. And I am going to do it, but now I don't know if I want to do it on the Hello Kitty side. Or do I want to do it on this side? And you know what? I still think I'm going to do it on the Hello Kitty side. Because that was my original thought. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Is right there. And then these ribbons. I'd like that one, but it's too fat. It's not going to go in. But this little thin yellow one will. Or at least I think it will. <laughs> Let me... Yes, it'll go in very very easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a good little length of that. And I'm going to thread this. I'm going to use the ice cream cone. Because when I saw these going through my stash, it's like, ooh, I'm going to use the heart. Didn't realize there was an ice cream cone in there. But I am using the ice cream cone shaker. <laughs> Too cute, right? Now, I'm going to find my crocodile here. Because I'm going through so much cardstock to get this in. I mean, some pretty heavy duty cardstock, I might add. I'm going to put that right there, punch a hole right there. And then I'm going to thread this through. Oh, come on. There we go. hard to do on camera with my box being so tall. Can I put it right there? Try a knot and try to make a pretty bow. I did say try. Oh, itchy nose. But 
I'm just going to bring this around and knot it again because that ice cream cone is pretty heavy and I don't want it to pull and tug and rip so I'm just going to put another knot in it after I did the bow. There. That looks cute, don't you think? Yes, <laughs> it does. Okay, so there we go with that. So working well on this side now with those things. I'm going to lay this down here. What I did with my, oh, I see my craft mat now way over there piled under a bunch of other stuff. Because I usually use it when I'm using my hot glue gun. That way it doesn't matter if I get glue all over it. Because it comes right off. Okay. And there we go. So I've got that put together at this point, And I'm going to leave this at the, like this for a few moments. Because I'm not 100% sure what else I'm going to do with this. I think I'm going to go cut out another Hello Kitty and put on here. Something Hello Kitty. I'm sure I will. Well, I know I'm going to. And I think I may use some of these cute little pink flowers on there too. So let's see here. Let me put that over here out of the way to dry a little bit. I'm going to bring <laughs> this hot mess in. And let me look at these ribbons here. There's my pom-pom ribbon. I'm trying to find, decide where I want to put it. I don't want to put it up there because it doesn't look right. Actually, I think I will put a piece right there. So that's right there is where I want to cut it. Get it around here so we both can see it. That way that gives a little definition to the opening, I think, of this envelope. That it does. Let me get the glue webs off of me. Now let me see what I can do on this side. to my fingernails. Let's see. No, that looks silly. And I already know I don't like it up here. Oh, that look okay, I like that. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Put it around the lip of the box. Let's see. And cut it right there. Got to do the cutting that way since Math and I didn't get along earlier on this box that I was trying to make. And I'm typically not that bad with Math. I typically do pretty good with Math. But I just wasn't doing it today. <laughs> I think, don't you? Okay, let's put a little more. There we 
go. Yes, I'm liking that. And I love this paper. Now I'm mad that I didn't buy two packs of it. One to use and one to hoard. Well, one to save for an emergency, not hoard. Right? Never know what kind of emergency you might need paper for. <laughs> we go. Oh yes, I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a great deal. There we go. I like that. That looks very nice. I'm going to have to use my razor. Eraser, I got something yucky on her nose there so I'll have to get that fixed up and I'm probably going to come back well there's no probably about it but I'm going to come back and put some uh, Wink Estella on her bow and make it pop and make it pretty and shiny so we got that I got the envelope here to stuff a bunch of goodies and stuff in I've got this slot here that will hold things too I got my envelope that holds a lot of things and then I got the little basket part that will hold some things as well and I love the pom-pom trim around there I think that's really cute and up here too now I'm gonna lay this I'm gonna lay this down for a second because here's what I'm thinking with one of these embellishments here because they have ribbon holes in them. Let's see what else in. Okay, there's a shaker pineapple. Very cute, very glittery. Oh, an ice cream cone with little seed beads in it. And a heart that says love. It's little seed beads too. This one's glitter in here in the pineapple. And then a cactus with little seed beads. So that's very cute. Now I'm thinking of tying one from up here. And I am going to do it, but now I don't know if I want to do it on the Hello Kitty side or do I want to do it on this side and you know what I still think I'm going to do it on the Hello Kitty side because that was my original thought that's exactly what I'm going to do is right there and then these ribbons I'd like that one but it's too fat it's not going to go in but this little thin yellow one will or at least I think it will <laughs> Let me, yes, it'll go in very, very easily. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut a good little length of that. And I'm going to thread this. I'm going to use the ice cream cone. Because when I saw these, going through my stash it's like ooh I'm gonna use the heart didn't realize there was an ice cream cone in there but I am using the ice cream cone shaker <laughs> too cute right now I'm gonna find my crocodile here because I'm going through so much cardstock to get this in I mean some pretty heavy duty cardstock I might add. I'm going to put that right th punch a hole right there. And then I'm going to thread this through. 
Oh, come on. hard to do on camera with my box being so tall. Okay. I'm going to put it right there. Tie a knot and try to make a pretty bow. I did say try. Oh, itchy nose. But I'm just going to bring this around and knot it again because that ice cream cone is pretty heavy. And I don't want it to pull and tug and rip so I'm just gonna put another knot in it after I did the bow there that looks cute don't you think yes <laughs> it does okay so there we go with because I'm going to go on and um, or get on my machine my Cricut and I'm going to cut out some more Hello Kitties and Friends and get those done and pieced together. And then I'll come back and finish decorating with you and show you how I'm filling it. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. On, on the inside of my inner office envelope here. And it'll be like that. And then uh, do all of that. And the back's looking really cute, too. And I haven't used any of this yet. And I'm probably not going to because it'll make everything a little too busy. And I don't want everything to be too busy. So let me set that out of the way for just a second. But while I was at it, with uh, doing the print and cut and then uh, <clears throat> of the Hello Kitty images, I decided to do tons of different ones. And I have lots of Hello Kitty images here. And I'm going to put these inside of my little loaded box envelope and unfortunately they won't fit in this little bag so I'm gonna have to find something else that I'm gonna put in this little bag <clears throat> excuse me because it's gonna go perfect inside my little um, envelope box here loaded envelope box here so um, I don't know what that's going to be just yet, but I'm going to finish loading my little envelope box up here with a bunch of different goodies. And I tell you what, because I made so many mistakes and started off with so many mistakes on this project. <laughs> that, and I hope we all do. I hope it's not just me. And I was filming and I decided to stay filming and um, that's something I don't typically do because I try to be a perfectionist and uh, let's just do this if you leave me a comment below that crafting is all about perfection in um, in one week I'll do a random draw of anybody that leaves me that comment and I will mail you this. I will mail you my loaded envelope box Hello Kitty themed and I will have it loaded too. I'm going to stuff it full of stuff. So just comment below. Give me a thumbs up 
subscribe if you haven't already and if you do those things and leave your comment crafting is all about perfection so I'm excited to send this to somebody so and I hope you might be excited to receive it so thanks for watching guys thanks for supporting my channel I truly 100% appreciate it and I'm very grateful so until next time cheers um I don't know what that's going to be just yet, but I'm going to finish loading my little envelope box up here with a bunch of different goodies. And I tell you what, because I made so many mistakes and started off with so many mistakes on this project. <laughs> that, and I hope we all do. I hope it's not just me. And I was filming and I decided to stay filming and um, that's something I don't typically do because I try to be a perfectionist and uh, let's just do this if you leave me a comment below that crafting is all about perfection in um, in one week I'll do a random draw of anybody that leaves me that comment, and I will mail you this. I will mail you my loaded envelope box Hello Kitty theme.